trip in space to the International Space Station, a trip that, a mission that began August 28th and covered some 5.7 million miles. Isn't that a beautiful shot? Mm. As the shuttle streaks back to Earth for a landing at Edwards Air Force Base in eastern Kern County. The shuttle uh, dropped off tons of supplies to the International Space Station, including a $5 million treadmill named after Comedy Central Stephen Colbert. You That's, remember that? It had to be the treadmill. That was the consolation prize yeah. after he pushed for naming the, the naming rights for a new space station room. At, <laughs> Uh, NASA chose the name Tranquility for that yet-to-be-launched room, even though Colbert won the online vote. Mm -hmm. But that's a, beside the point. This is a serious business right here as the uh, shuttle, which is really just a glider right now, coming in for a very graceful landing at Edwards Air Force Base. Well, kids might be interested in knowing also, though, Jim, that Buzz Lightyear... Buzz Lightyear's coming back, that's too. That's right, is coming back on now, the space shuttle he's a, This is a 12-inch action figure. Uh, Buzz flew up with the shuttle in mid-2008 as part of an educational program, and Buzz will be returning to Walt Disney World for a ticker tape parade <laughs> at the beginning of October. Oh, this is a gorgeous sight. You see those... You imagine he's, coming, coming he's going the, to the Epcot Center, right? I would imagine, yeah. yeah that, would, that would make sense to me. Let's uh, turn up the uh, audio and listen to this for a minute. And they are on final glide path right now the, uh, as they approach the Rogers camera. Dry Lake Bed. The same view that uh, Rick Sturko and Kevin Ford are seeing now that we're aligned with runway 22. One minute until touchdown. Discoveries. Discovery's crew, by the way, performed three spacewalks on this mission at the International Space Station. They installed a fresh tank of ammonia coolant. They uh, put in Discovery new antennas right and cabling for that new space room, Tranquility. From now, that, that will be the living quarters, which is uh, due to arrive next year. Pilot Kevin Ford will deploy the landing gear. It's always a quite a sight to see the shuttle come back. Now, you know, NASA prefers to have the shuttle land back in uh, in Florida, and for a couple of good reasons. It takes them about eight or nine days to get the shuttle mounted on top of a Boeing 747 mm -hmm. for that piggyback ride back to Kennedy Space, Center, uh, Kennedy Space Center. And that costs NASA about $1.7 million every time they have to do that piggyback ride from Kern County back to Kennedy Space Center. Now you see the landing gear? Landing gear down and locked. And that's touchdown. Main gear touchdown. Discovery safely home with her crew Kevin Ford of now seven. deploying the drag chute. Oof. Nose gear touchdown. And we'll have more on the uh, Space Shuttle Discovery's mission tonight on 17 News on at 11.